Um, welcome, Thahum. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, Addison. You guys are really awesome. I'm really proud of you guys because you're out there and you're making things happen for yourself. And that is the key to the whole thing with dreams and all of this stuff is you have to make your thing happen yourself. I always thought that I was going to be like discovered or something, you know, because I was always like, if somebody was like watching me somewhere, I was like, you think I'm a star, don't you? <laughs> and like, it never happened. So I was like, oh shit. So I realized I have to make my own kind of thing happen. At some point you just realize that. And it's so annoying too because my mom was like, people would come up to me when I had you in the carriage and they'd be like, she could be a model baby. And then I go, and then what'd you do? And she's like, oh, I don't know. I was just embarrassed. I was like, thanks. I'm like, you're so irritating. It could have been like a JonBenet Ramsey baby. I'm just kidding. I don't want to be a JonBenet Ramsey baby. But the point is that most of us don't have parental support. And so we have to make our dreams happen ourselves. We have to make it happen. Am I frozen? All of a sudden it looks like all the comments stopped and that usually means something weird's happening. Okay, no, you're just quiet. You're just transfixed in the moment. So anyways, you really do have to, um, you really do have to make your dreams happen. And thank you to Addison, who's out there, just the A. Wiley show. And thank you to Ryan with his music and he's putting it out there. And that's what you have to do. Make MySpace pages, YouTube pages, websites, whatever. Put yourself, yourself out there. Never before has there ever been a time where we can do so much on our own. You know, the internet takes out the middleman. You don't have to convince somebody to give you a chance. You give yourself a chance. And then you're convincing people to connect with you or buy your art or support your work or whatever. And that's a whole different thing. But it's, it's the other stuff that just is horrible. It's like, ah, trying to get people to give you a chance is really hard. Okay, let me go back. Um, Brittany Dragon is here. Hi, Brittany Dragon. How are you? You had a magical moment today. I was really down and frustrated about my midterms. I know you've been doing a lot of homework lately. And then I found a free full mattress when I had no bed. What do you mean? Where'd you find it? That's awesome. I love stuff like that. Um, it's out of sync. Is it out of sync for everybody? Addison says I'm out of sync. Jenny Mahalo says we're, you guys are mesmerized. Thank you. I'm glad. Listening intently. Lola. Lola. La, 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 la. Okay, Time Center just got some audio from Ryan. That happens to me sometimes where after the person goes off, I still get their audio. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Um, Sean 101. Hey, hi, Sean. How are you? Shelby 2000. We are a supportive family, except for when someone gets a phone call and thinks that they can just leave us. I'm not going to say any names. I'm just throwing it out there. And yes, join the A. Wiley Society on Facebook. A. Wiley Society. That's Addison's group. I just joined it tonight. Um, well, I thought I still had it saved up on my top stuff. I don't have the link there, but um, very cool. And then I won't read what Halo Dreadmaster wrote. Won't read that. Oops, I guess I should unmute ya. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. That was good. BRB, everyone. Let's see, what could that stand for? Buns, ranking, buns, no. Um, burnout, running, blur gal. I know it means be right back. I'm just being stupid. Um, okay, so I'm not out of sync. God, I'm trying to catch up. If I s refresh your browser by pressing F5. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Addison has reposted his Facebook group link. Please click that. And Secret Squirrel's going to be right back. Lola, so what exactly are you working on in film? Um, well, what do you mean by your question? What my film is as a filmmaker, as my dream, as my day job? Like, let's clarify. Let's clarify. Um, I, uh, wait, let me see. Let me check something. Um, gosh, it's only 849. The co-hosting is really kind of stressful for me. I love the concept of bringing someone on and introducing them and like, so everybody can kind of talk to them and see their face and it makes you more susceptible to go, oh, I want to go to the YouTube channel. Oh, I want to subscribe. You know, it's great. 
but it's really stressful too because there's such a lag that as the host it's like kind of it's oh I just wish there wasn't a lag it's really hard but we're gonna do it anyways because I don't care because you know what that's just this just life trying to hold me back and I'm not gonna let it hold me back so I'm gonna always take co-hosts if you're interested in coming on the show and telling everybody about your dream email me I'm gonna put it up on the top here um email why does it act weird sometimes this is so strange email me skygirl25 at gmail.com there you go so if you have a dream and you would like to talk to everyone in here about your dream on camera um, you can send me an email tell me a little bit about your dream and um, I'll sift through the thousands and thousands of emails that I receive in my inbox and I'll pick your email out shake it off, clean it up a little bit, and I'll respond. Okay, I don't get thousands and thousands of emails. Whatever. Um, no, the show's not over. I think I'm going to rock it for like another hour because I haven't even like broken down all the stuff that's been going on this whole week. Hi, White Liar. Please don't let me down by being mean. Please. Okay, you say smart people use Gmail. Okay, good. <laughs> the mean people just... I hate the mean people that you think are cool and they're like, you're, you're like, hi, <laughs> like that happened to David, you guys, for the ones of, for the, for the ones of you, I don't even know what language I'm speaking. For those of you who were at the winery shows last week, it was so funny because a person came on and, um, they were like asking David questions and David's new to like online chat. He doesn't know yet, like the darker side of online chat. And he goes, and the person's like, hi, so do you do, um, you know, like just asking questions about his art and stuff. And he was answering all the questions. I could tell if you've been on the online chat enough, you can tell when someone comes on that they're kind of, they're heading down a road. I'm not talking about the ones that are like big donkey schlong, you know, and that's their screen name. Not the obvious ones. I'm talking about the ones that are like davy dave 247 and you're like hmm but then they're just kind of like a little too interested in you and they're kind of asking questions so it was so funny because he's like what he goes do you like poetry and david goes <laughs> david's like yeah and he goes what's your what's your favorite poetry and david's like totally into it going yeah um i'm not really into poetry and he was like looking away and he was thinking about his answer and meanwhile this person wrote all this totally like nasty stuff and like it was so funny and david kept talking and talking i go david david i was like trying to get his attention like stop talking <laughs> he was just baiting you he's just he doesn't care he wants to talk to you about your you know what so it was really funny. I was like dying. So then David's like, he looks at the screen and he goes, oh my God. I'm like, I told you, I was trying to tell you. <laughs> you can't fall for these people. You got to be careful. So don donkey schlong. Yeah. Okay. White liar. Wait, let me see. My aim name is guy minus girl. Most women are suckers for it and think it's cute. It is cute. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Uh, hi, Greg is awesome. I don't sing, so I can't sing. So there you go. Um, you talking about chat room detractors or chat room stalkers? What's the difference? What's a detractor and what what's the difference between those two? I don't know. Um, oh, Addison, thank you so much for coming online. I really, really appreciate you coming on camera, talking about your dream. You're an awesome guy. I know you're going to be successful. And um, I'm excited to see what amazing things are in store for the A. Wiley Society group on Facebook. Amazing, amazing things. So thank you, and we'll see you next time. And I do want to tell you, Addison, before you leave, Wednesday I'm going to be filming somewhere, and if they have high-speed Internet, um, I'm going to bring my laptop, and I'm going to be at this place at around 10 in the morning. And so if at 12 L.A. time I can break away, I'll, excuse me, have the show. But if I can't break away, then I won't. So I'm not sure. No, it's 3 p.m. Eastern is my Wednesday show. If you see in the banner, right there. Um, but that's 12 o'clock L.A. time. So um, I know, was that sarcastic? I'm like, it's right there in the banner. Okay, great. Thanks, Addison. Bye-bye now. <laughs> um,
Yeah, so I might be on Wednesday. If not, I'll come on a different time. I'm really sorry. It's just